Okay, I'm gonna acknowledge, I don't know what the fuck happened, but somehow, updating OBS made it so I couldn't use this lovely camera source. So, I've reverted OBS back to an older version, and now I just can't stream to Twitch. So, I'm gonna still get this recorded. A hey, recorded and all that jazz. Um, for quickness! We got the Pride Across the Multiverse pack. Where's my trusty timer? We're gonna do this in less than 10 minutes. Because all we care about, because I've had a lot of emotions going through my head with this particular opening and this particular thing that is going on. I'm just here to see what the random card is. I am very appreciative that uh, Pride Across the Multiverse is a thing and that uh, we get to share our love of the game with our LGBTQ uh, brethren and folks within the magic community because uh, I gotta tell you if y'all have never been in the magic community there's a lot of LGBTQ plus community in Alphabet Mafia in magic I, I have judge friends that are trans I have uh, a lot of gay and lesbian uh, players that are pro, that are very close to being pro players. So it's just kind. Of, it's incredibly nice that we get to actually see. Uh, it's your time to shine. And look, ooh, they're all foily and super silvery. So each of these are the thing. I, I I don't know if I have time to showcase the full pack today. We're just here for the random card, which is uh, back to uh, stained glass planeswalkers. So. Sahili, Sublime Art Artificer, Pacha. I'm just gonna take. You know what? Gonna do what I always. You know what? Fine. These are foil. Ooh, these are nice. Got Triumphant Reckoning, with a. Uh... I said I didn't have time for this, but okay. Let's see. That is the Planeswalker from Kaldheim. Uh, said to be non-binary. Called that as I was seeing it. Savor the moment is Rouserek and what his secret lover, if I remember correctly. That's right, I said his secret lover. This is all gay. Alesha who smiles at death. I wasn't as into cons of Tarkir when this was going on, but if I remember correctly, Alesha is a trans male to female, and it's not stated overtly, but it's on a few of the flavor texts of the cards that she was kind of outclassed. Uh, from the rest of it because of her condition and then of course the meme bearscape with the lovely gay men sitting around in the hot tub I can't I can't not mention that we got collective voyage which is just a, a group of on ships Ooh, heartbeat of spring I totally forgot about that and then the reasons that the, the set I think is worth it is mana confluence and soul ring those are real nice the soul ring is super busy, but I really like the, the mana confluence where you're like coming together. <clears throat> All people, diff different walks of lights coming together. And that has six different people in there. So is that representing six, th six representing the colors of the rainbow, not the colors of mana, but the colors of mana uh, all works. I like it. Okay. No, you would think with how many of these secret layer boxes I've ever opened, I would have a way of putting them back into these boxes, but I don't. Box number two. And our verdict is today, Holtai, the Sun's Heart. Now granted, I'm pretty sure these two characters are used because uh, these two are featured on literally one of the cards. Yeah, right here. Uh, Heartbeat of Spring features Holtai and Sahili. Right there in the art. Look, you can you can see clearly tell it's the same characters, even though they're in stained glass form. So. I can't not emphasize the fact that th this entire uh, pride thing is incredibly poignant 
to Magic history. Like, the amount of players that are in the Magic community. I've been playing the game for 25 years now. Let's see. I'm, I'm 34. Yeah, I've been playing the game for 25 years. I started when I was 9 years old. I started when I was 9 years old. And there is so many LGBTQ people in the community. It would be an absolute shame to, to be like the rest of the bigots in the world and, and say they were not a part of the community and still somehow marginalized. Like, like shit, they're, they're a main part of the community at, at large. Like, I don't see, like, why anyone wants to shun them or keep them separate or anything like that. Like, they're literally my friends, my brothers, my sisters in all of this adventure. So, yeah, it's your time to shine. It's a good, good segue. Yep, there's the Healy again. So it seems to be themed after the fact that the cards come in the pack. Again, Wizards, my biggest complaint with Secret Lairs uh, that I have with you is that you do not, you're not transparent about which packs come. I'm sorry, that Triumphant Return felt quite a bit thicker. Eh, I don't have a good enough camera to really showcase it, but like in my hand, this triumphant return feels a lot thicker. In fact, this entire pack feels like a thicker set of cardboard than these packs. Is that a good thing? Does that mean the foils aren't like gonna be laughed at to be anything? Because I, I gotta admit, with everything being Pringles, the fact that I just went through all foil packs and these are not that Pringly, these are actually pretty good. Damn, the value you get on this, too. The value you get on this secret layer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight cards. You get just like a crossover pack. You get eight cards. So the crossover sets get eight cards, eight to nine cards, because sometimes the secret one. But because um, in this instance, the secret card is just uh, related to the magic characters themselves, it doesn't count as a... Uh... Let's see. Get Where's the box? There. Like, what if, I don't know what, I don't know in these two what you could possibly hit that would be big enough to make the last slot worth it. Yep, see, you just get a whole tie. So, so far I have two, two Sahilis, two whole ties. Really good card quality. Like, did they use thicker cards on this? I swear the card quality is, the card stock is way thicker on these than any secret layer I've opened thus far to date, period. Like, like sometimes the non-foils are really good uh, with their card quality um, in the past, like explosion sounds and, and, and uh, uh, the, the, inked, the inked secret layer. Um, and the card quality is just good. But like th this, the thickness of the card quality on this one is particularly exceptional. And final box. Ooh, this one's upside down for some reason. <gasps> yep. All it is is a uh, Sahelian hole ties. So, you know, as random and fun as you can get, you just get a bunch of Sahelian hole ties. Uh, it would have been nice to get a raw, because uh, rawls are rare uh, in the stained glass version. So, getting a raw uh, would have been really cool uh, to see. And a little sad that we didn't get a raw. And hey, look at that. When you only have five boxes, you beat the time. Save for the moment, baby. Don't forget to smile at death. And then when you're done smiling at death, take a nice cool drink in the bearscape, because then we're going to have a collective voyage as my heart beats with full of springs of soul rings and mana confluences. I don't know where I was going with any of that, but that was my last stretch for the end of my video. Thank you. Uh, my final thoughts are I'm going to keep opening secret lairs. There was a point in time that I thought that the secret layers were not worth it, but let's just say things are in the works that I'm going to be constantly acquiring and getting a hold of secret layers. So it's it's going to be a thing. This is this is going to be a thread. This is going to be a thread of this uh, of this platform. Uh, I would like to showcase to you 
that the secret layers uh, try to kind of still be magic and still kind of give you uh, bonus extra cards. Now, granted, I'm still a little bit perturbed that the extra cards are not more transparent about how random they're getting. Because I remember on one of my openings, I opened a, a cool New York, uh, New York, uh, New York City style, uh, uh, like uh, like street rapper pigeons, persistent petitioners, and that was a cool moment. So it would be nice to know when there's potentially you're gonna get more of the schematic artifacts versus more of the weird alternate persistent petitioners, persistent petitioners. Like there's so many different options out there you could do. Apparently there was a stamped viscera seer in some of the secret layers back there. Like. There's plenty of options. It would be nice magic if you would just uh, be more transparent about it. That's all I'm saying. I love the Secret Lair as a product. Just be more transparent. Late.